Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. We are continuing on from yesterday's video where we painted the separatist capital ships that come in the core box and we're going to be looking at the fighter squadron, namely the vulture fighters that come in the box. They are absolutely fantastic looking little miniatures. They are so teeny but I really wanted to add a, a little bit of paint on there. I don't like the blue plastic that they come in. I think it looks terrible and really takes something away from the game. So I wanted to get a little bit of paint on and I'm going to show you how I've done that. Before we get started though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. Now the first thing we want to do when painting these squadrons is to get a little bit of base coat on them. You can see here, yes, these are not the Vulture Fighters. Forgive me, I didn't take a photo of them at the time, so you'll have to just look at these ones for a moment. But all I've done is use a little like cocktail sticks, add a little bit of blue tack on the end, and stuck the fighters in there. Did exactly the same thing with the Vulture Fighters as well. And I gave them a spray of Games Workshop's Grey Seer. And what this does is add a really, really nice base coat that the paint can stick to, as you can see here. Now you can see it's not perfect I haven't you know been really really careful because what this does is add a little bit of interest to the vessel straight off the bat because as soon as you put on a contrast paint or anything like that you get a few different variations in the, in the paint and it actually looks pretty good to be honest with you but the first thing I'm going to do is paint the little bottom part of the vessel which is the bit that sticks into the uh, actual stand, the boring part shall we say. And I'm going to use a black paint for this, namely Contrast Black Templar. And as you can see, it's going straight over the top of the blue without any problems. So this sort of proves you can use this contrast paint on any sort of colour really, especially the black. And because it's so thin, it's so easy to use. I'm, I really do like using this one now. And the contrast paints are really my sort of go-to. What I'm going to do through this video is paint the, the three vessels as we get on, um, show you how uh, all the details I add to those vessels and I'm going to uh, basically continue that across the board and then uh, show you the, the finishing touch at the end. So the next thing I'm going to do, as you can see I've stuck it in this stand, it makes it a little bit easier to use, but I'm going to paint the main colour of the hull. Now the paint I'm using for that is Contrast Basilicum Grey. Now this is a really, really nice mid-level grey, um, it goes on really, really well, especially when you use the you know, a nice light base coat like the Games Workshop's Grey Seer, or any of those really, I mean any sort of lighter colored base would work really well with these contrast paints you can see the gray drops on there really nicely and the, the ships have got uh, very very tiny details that really pop nicely when you use this contrast paint it means you don't have to highlight you don't have to add on different colors you can stick this contrast paint straight onto the miniature and they look fantastic straight away you can already already see you know you could probably get away with just putting a contrast paint on them to be honest with you and leaving it at that um, you know the, these are you're going to be stood three feet away uh, next to the table while playing the games, um, and you know you're not gonna you're not gonna lose any of uh, any of that detail. Really, you're not gonna lose anything by not continuing any further from this sort of step. However, I you know I want to add a little bit more to it, so we're gonna be popping uh, a colour onto sort of the you know the wing areas, uh, which I'm gonna do now. And I'm using a blue for this one. Um, you know we're going with that separate sort of blue colour. And we could use, I'm using Altdorf Guard Blue for it. It's a normal layer paint, not a contrast paint this time, because I don't want it to, you know, run into any areas that it's not supposed to be, essentially. All I've done is get a little bit of paint just on the edge of the brush there. And use a very, very fine tipped brush. I know I get asked this question quite a lot, but I use the Army, paint, Army Painter range of brushes. And this is one of those ones. And all I'm doing is essentially painting the tops and the bottoms of sort of the wings just the middle areas so we're sticking to the lines of the actual model not trying to do anything you know special with these and then what I'm doing is painting either side of the cockpit as well all I'm doing is touching a little bit of paint just on you know the port and starboard each side of the cockpit just to add that little bit more when you're standing sort of above the vessels um, it really does add that extra little bit of detail to it and it looks really really nice as you can see here you know the, the blue stands out quite nicely from the grey 
Now to add that little tiny bit extra, I've grabbed a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet Red paint essentially. It's a really nice red paint, um, very very bright, really stands out well and when you put it into the recesses of the sort of, let's call them eyes uh, for the want of a, a better word, and just paint a little bit of this red paint in there, it really makes it stand out nicely and looks absolutely fantastic. So I mean what's that, three paints, four if you include the black on the base, um, five if you include the base coat if you really want to to get them into this sort of a state and look they are absolutely amazing so much better than that blue plastic that they come in, come out the box as um, you know these things look absolutely amazing I don't know why they, they oh well I kind of know why they've gone down the route of the colours and that's to make them stand out separately because you know they are very small and if you don't recognise the vessels and you're not into Star Wars I suppose it does make it easy to, to you know make them stand out on which side they are but you can see the fleet looks absolutely fantastic out of the box now it really does make a difference it's definitely worth worthwhile make sure you comment down below let me know what you think uh, let me know you know what sort of designs you make go for but hit that subscribe button as well. We've got loads and loads of content on the way, including you know Star Wars Legion. You can see the uh, clone on the screen now. Go and check out those videos. They're really, really good. And we've got some great-looking miniatures as well. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.